Sup guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Nelly Sage. Hope you guys are doing great, you're doing well, and I'm here back with another video. And today I'm here to talk about Guardians of the Galaxy, the ending, and the maiden post credit scenes explained. This movie was phenomenal and a breath of fresh air, considering how disappointing you know phase four was, and of course, Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantum Mania. So let's just dive into what the future of the Guardians of the Galaxy is. So by the end of the movie, the Guardians disassemble. Mantis goes off on her own, you know, to explore the universe and find their own path. Gamora goes back to the Ravengers and Peter Quill decides to go back to Earth to spend time with his only biological family left, his grandfather. And so he hands over the leadership to Rocket Raccoon. And we hear Good speak his very first English words. I love you guys. How Nebula and Drax are staying on nowhere, you know, to take care of the children and manage the city. So basically, all of them are going their separate ways. For some, it's temporal, but for Drax and Gamora, it's permanent. Batista, even before the movie came out and said this was his last time as Drax. Which one will be your last? It will. It will. <laughs> yeah, the journey has come full circle, and I'm just I'm ready to kind of step aside and wrap it up. And recently, Zoe Saldana also came out and said this is the last time she's going to play Gamora. So even though we might see some of these guardians pop up in different movies and cameos and other things, Gamora and Drax are done. So now let's talk about the mid credit scenes and what it means for the future of the guardians. Basically, what's next for them? So the scene opens up with Rocket, who asks this new team their favorite music from Earth. We see Adam Warlock, Kraglin, Cosmo the Space Dog, Fila, and Groot, who's yet changed his form again is looking very massive resembling that of his comics counterpart from tales to astonish issue 13 by stan lee steve ditko jack kirby don heck and larry labor now each of them talk about their musical preferences but rocket gets the final say when he plays a song you might be familiar with red bones come and get your love the song that peter quail danced to in the early parts you know the early openings of the first movie kind of a full circle type of thing and it was just emotional after that we see a horde of alien creatures charging at them. Kraglin stands up talking about how he can take care of them but they all stand up to defend the village and they charge in and the credits end. So basically the guardians still live on even though it's with these new heroes. Adam Warlock who started off as an antagonist and after being saved by Groot and talked about second chances he is now part of the team. Of course it's one of the most beloved characters in Marvel comics so Marvel is not just going to bring him in for a one off thing his future in the mcu is very bright and may be one of the heavy hitters against kang kraglin and cosmo the space dog being there is not a surprise but what is is filler this new character that we saw in the movie one of the experiments of the high evolutionary sort of the leader of all the kids and even though she's only called Fila, she's most likely the character Fila Vell from the comics who is the daughter of Marvel the original Captain Marvel who gave you know Carrie Davis her powers she took on the mantle of Captain Marvel but later changed the name to Quasar before later making another change to Matar this character also had a relationship with Drax's daughter which I think was kind of a nod when Drax talked about how he had a daughter Daughter like her in the comics she's powerful she can fly she has super speed durability strength agility and she can fire energy blasts from her hands and we saw a tease of that in this mid credit scene where we see energy glows around her hands and even at one point before that her eye glowed blue so i think that's one of the reasons why she's part of the team is because she can take care of herself and she's powerful enough to be on the team so not yet known whether she will have the same powers as in the comics or there'll be a few changes or whether she's the only kid from the group who has powers or they all have superpowers as well but it looks like she has some future in the mcu going forward now whether there will be a new guardians of the galaxy movie is not yet known i mean there could be since you know thor and captain america have or will get a fourth movie so these new members in this new team could have their own adventures in their own movie now those who have read the comics may be asking whether the guardians will change their name since something like this happened in the comics where they were called their Annihilators, consisting of Cosmo, Beta Real Bail, Quasar, Silver Surfer, and Ronan the Accuser. Some big heavy hitters in the Marvel Universe. But most likely the name will not change. They would like to keep the Guardians, you know, the name, the legacy living on in the MCU. And of course, this isn't the last time that we'll be seeing them. Avengers, Secret Wars, and Kang Dynasty are coming up. So of course they are going to be there. 
Now let's move on to the post credit scene, which is less exciting than the mid credit scene and he sees Peter who's having breakfast with his grandfather. His grandfather is reading the newspaper and there's an article talking about how Kevin Bacon was abducted by aliens which we saw in the holiday special. The scene ends with a text, the legendary Star Lord will return. So even if all the Guardians members are not going to show up ever again, which is doubtful, at least with Star Lord, he's confirmed that he's returning in the MCU. And what's special about this text? is that it's taken from the marvel comics and is the title of the comics which was published from 2014 to 2015 and it's basically star lord going off on his own in his own solo adventure which makes sense that's why it's worded this way since star lord is going to have maybe his own spin-off movie you know before making cameos in different properties and maybe even have his own disney plus show and of course he will appear in the big avengers movies that are coming out as well and of course unlike batista and zoe chris pratt has a expressed his desire to continue being Star-Lord in the MCU and appear in different properties. And he may even pop up in Nova, another cosmic hero with his own project coming in in the MCU. So basically, we are going to see more of Star-Lord. So now that's it for the mid credit and post credit scene. We have a new Guardians of the Galaxy led by Rocket with the MCU future still unknown. Adam Warlock for sure will be in other properties. We have Star-Lord living his mundane life now on Earth with his own solo adventures also coming up. So now do let me know in the comments below what you thought of this are you excited to see maybe a new guardians of the galaxy movie following these new heroes and what about star lord's own solo adventure and also let me know your thoughts on this movie as well i'll be bringing out a video about some of the top moments in the movie and i hope you subscribe and turn on that post notification bell not to miss that video and leave a like also it helps the channel out now that's it for the video as always nerdy cga see you guys in the next one Drax, sit up! That's what it's here for. Drax, it's called a sofa. It's not a bed. Well, I find it hard to believe it doesn't have multiple purposes.